California Slavery Reparations Task Force. Well, that task force recommends giving up to $1.2 million to each black resident of California. Larry Elder's with us. I thought this was Governor Newsom's idea. So why is he not endorsing these payments? Because he knows the money isn't there, Stuart. California has a $300 billion budget. This would be two and a half times the budget. The budget is already facing a $20 billion deficit. And we are $1.5 trillion unfunded pension liabilities. So he knows the money isn't there. This is all about staving off the recall. This happened uh, during the time that people were gathering signatures well, for the recall. But wait a second, so wait a second, wait a second, Larry. We seem to be in a situation now where we're simply negotiating the price. How much do they get? We're not talking about the principle of whether black folks get anything at all. No, it's just how much. Well, that's right. Again, it's, it's about buying votes. You see, what's happened is Donald Trump got 8% of the black vote in 2016. He got 12% in 2020, a 50% increase. 20% of black men voted for Donald Trump. Biden used to have 80% approval rating among blacks. Now it's down to about 50%. So it's going the right way. What to do? What to do? Buy their votes. Got it. Got it. That's what's going on here. We've got a, a new poll here that says only 41% of black voters want Biden to run again in 2024. So, Larry, what are black voters looking for in a candidate that Biden doesn't have? I think they're looking for somebody uh, who will uh, do something about this in ungodly inflation, about the gas prices, uh, about the crime going on, about the awful performance of our public schools. The, the, uh, the, the Democrats and the unions are joined at the hip. They oppose school choice, which urban uh, black and brown parents want. And they want somebody to do something about the, uh, the borders, which is why I'm recommending that they, that they vote for Larry Elder. Go to elderforpresident.com, throw a little something in the tip jar, and get somebody that will turn this around. Wait a second. I saw on, the, on Fox this morning, Scott Baio, the actor, He's, he's been in Los Angeles for 45 years, I believe, and he's moving right. lock, stock and barrel. I think he's going to the Gulf Coast of Florida. Why aren't you doing That's the right. same thing, Larry? That's right. Scott is a friend of mine, and I know that he was leaving. I'm not going to have them push me away. I was born and raised here, and I'm going to turn this thing around. Sooner or later, like a drug addict, the voters who've been voting for these Democrats are going to realize that we've got to change. We've got to do something about uh, the fact that people are leaving, do something about the homelessness, and again, do something about the, the incredible cost of living, the average price of a home in California, 175 percent above the national average, which is the principal reason why people leave. That's got to be turned around, and, and sooner or later, the voters are going to realize that. Okay, do you think that I will ever see a Republican voted into a statewide office in California in my lifetime? I think in your lifetime, you're going to live a long, healthy life, life Stuart. <laughs> we haven't had a Republican uh, voted nation, voted statewide in California in over 20 years. I know. Uh, and, yeah. um, uh, you know, we had a, we had a, a, a Republican turned Democrat run for mayor. Uh, he spent a great deal of money, and he still lost. So, uh, short term, no. Uh, long term, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I've got a long term future, Larry. Thanks very much for joining us, sir. Always appreciate it. See My you pleasure. Soon. You got it.